In this video, I'll show you how to flow any text into any shape. If this is the first time you come to the channel, please, guys and girls, uh, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel. Please watch the videos all the way through. And please thumbs up these videos, guys, if you like it, so that uh, YouTube can know that you guys are actually watching the videos and that you're getting some help out of. So please thumbs up the videos. Please subscribe. Now let's get started. Again, this video is how to flow text into any shape. Now for starters, we'll need to find a shape that we want to use. And in this case, I'm just going to use um, maybe a maybe a hexagon. So we want to go over to the left where it says create stars and polygons. Click on that. And then we're going to click on regular polygons. And where it says corners, which is how many sides you need. And we're going to click on six. And then we're going to just click right click and drag um, a shape and we'll just get it the orientation that we want it now we have our shape in place next what we want to do is we're going to fill this shape with text so what we want to do is take this shape I'm going to turn this shape black just to get um, a varying effect because it kind of looks a little better to me with um, the dark background with the lighter color um, like white um, text so sorry so we have our black hexagon and then we're going to select get a, grab a text box I'm going to go over here where the um, A is, which is create and edit text objects. And you can get to it also with the F8 key. And just going to click. And then I have some um, prefabricated text that I'm just going to paste in. Save some time. But you guys can tape, type in anything that you would like. And guys, my text, um, after I pasted, it kind of went a little crazy, but it's okay. And I'm just going to turn this to the, pick the color I want, change the text to that. And then uh, simply with text selected, you're going to hold down shift and then click, then left click on your shape. Then we're going to go to text in the um, in the top menu, and then we're going to go down to where it says flow into frame or Alt W as a shortcut, and you click that, and there it is. It puts your text into the shape, and what you can do with this is play around with it to get it exactly where you want to or about where you want to double click on the shape I mean on the text and we can change the font size a little bit you can alter this on the fly and if you have a lot of text then it's going to flow into the shape the way you want it to and to re to get this all the way in here, you want to make sure that your um, fit is properly to the size of the shape that you have that you can get. And then you just want to select both things again, and then you just come and then hit flow to frame again, and it'll position your words again. And this is um. This can get pretty advanced. Like sometimes you see um, 
like t-shirt designs or um, posters or canvases that you see the letter there's a like a like a um, the object your shape would be actually like a letter and then the text is in the middle of that you can do that as well guys that's it's a little more in depth um, in Inkscape to do that but it can be done and I guess I'll go into that let me do that real quick for you guys so we'll take this and just move it off to the side a little bit so we can use that same text now what I like to do is I use two programs to do this because the way that Inkscape works um, you can't just do this with a simple well I haven't found a way to do this with just a simple um, letter of text but it can be done pretty quickly with uh, using Inkscape and I also use um, GIMP which is a um, a free program like Photoshop. Uh, it's real close to Photoshop. It's actually a Photoshop alternative that a lot of um, designers use. So um, I'm just going to get the letter I want, and then I'm going to choose the... font that I would like and this is what I have let's increase that a little more so we'll make it roughly the size of this shape here so because we this is this is a um, and as, as a vector object and I can there's I can try it with this, but it would it won't work. You can try flow into frame by selecting both and see I it didn't do anything. And then there's another way that usually uh, you would think would work, but it doesn't. Um, and that's to turn this into a path. So click on it and object to path, and now it's no longer a text. It's now a by double clicking on it you can pull up the nodes for this and you can see that's a path now it's no longer an editable um, letter letter of text and to show you guys that it can't be done this way either we'll select both the text and the letter B and then we'll do the same thing text flow into frame oh that it actually worked that time guys last time I tried it it didn't work so this is how you guys can flow um, your text into into a letter as well. So, and then from this point, you can simply just go and then, if you want a different type of text, you can just scroll through your text and get it to look pretty much however you want it to look. And then you just click off of it, guys, and there you have it. How to flow text into any shape. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the thumbs up button as you guys are leaving. Please hit the thumbs up button. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.